After an explosive first game, we're headed already, believe it or not, into game number two. Welcome back to the Intel Extreme Masters Taipei, our last stop of season nine before the World Championship occurs in just six weeks' time. Two spots up for grabs today, or rather tomorrow, when the semi-finals and grand final will be completed. Let's check in with the bracket and show you what's happened so far. If you missed it, well, you probably blinked because it was a fast series. 3-0, no less, for parting big boy from Yoey Flash Walls. Going through to the semi-finals ahead of his former teammate, Classic. We'll move on to Hyun versus Life, which is next. And back on the desk is Susie, Kalaris, and Todd. What do we make of that first one, then? It was kind of good. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kalaris comes straight in with the understatement of the day. I couldn't really breathe too well at the end of the sure, last yeah, one. But yeah, I yeah, kind yeah, of got okay. that from you. Yeah. Yeah, Todd, right. as, a, as a Protoss professional, what was your professional opinion? It was a mess, wasn't it? No, but it was I a train wreck. Choo -choo. Every word I can think of is not suitable for broadcast. <laughs> but basically, it was very good. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I but loved it. I don't know about you guys. I, I was, had, I, I had I such a great too. time watching yeah. those games. Yeah. Yeah. Being a protoss and all. Being a protoss and all, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are you gonna proxy some uh, poor nerds, Susie? <laughs> They will know. Hey, Everybody I, watch I this. Think, think they will be ready. <laughs> yeah. yeah, go on the ladder this evening. That's all we're going to see. Uh, we're going to move on to a ZBZ next up, which I know uh, our friend Kolaris enjoys these a lot. And uh, it's two great players, Hyun and Life. Life, former winner, of course, of Intel Extreme Masters. We'll start mm -hmm. with him. Um, great form through the group stage. Looked absolutely fine. Little quirks here and there. I, could, I think you could say he's got some small chinks in the armory that maybe some other players can exploit. But is Hyun that player? Yes, I would say so here. Okay. Uh, for me, Hyun cast a lot, a lot of his Zerg versus Zerg, and Hyun is the guy that, again, in a previous meta, in Roach exclusive previous meta, was one of the kings. He was one of the gods, yeah. uh, and was able to do very, very well in that. I don't feel that Hyun is as uh, adaptive a player as Life, and I don't think he's adapted to this current meta that we're seeing in Zerg versus Zerg as well as someone as Life is. So I think. The, the meta as it stands and the way Zerg versus Zerg is currently playing out far favors life compared to Hyun. Okay, what are, you, what are your thoughts on this matchup? With life's previous games so far in this tournament, I mean, the matchup is irrelevant. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> it's just been so overwhelming and so good Thanks. overall. Like, it's funny because. <laughs> Number one fanboy. Hyun. No, I, I really like Hyun as he, well. He's switching race after I this. I know, I know. Hyun is never happy with his opponents almost. Every time I see him, he's just cursing and saying his opponent's name. He's like, ah, no, like I, I didn't want to play him. He's never happy. Somehow he made it so many times very far in tournaments and did well. But now he really seemed particularly unhappy about this one when I when I talked to him about it. Yeah, which is unusual because he normally he's OK with ZVZ usually. He played decently in the past. I don't know why he would particularly dislike it other than the fact that, like you said, it's life. Yeah. That's yeah. kind of funny because uh, actually, as soon as he knew that he was playing life yesterday, the entire, w just a bunch of us were walking back, getting some food, and it's like, okay, guys, this is it. I'm done after this. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm playing against life, and my run ends here. Like, he was so down and about. We were like, no, don't worry. Life hasn't been practiced. He's like, yeah, well, I haven't really had space to practice either. Uh, when I talked to him this morning uh, and I asked him, his face was really serious. Can, and I said, I said, you know, who do you think is going to make it? He was like, the only thing I'm focused right now is my game with life. He goes, I don't care about any other game. It's this game with life that really means something to him. Life, on the other hand, um, thinks he's going to win 3-0. Shocker. <laughs> standard, standard, standard life thing. I said, uh, yeah. I said, what do you think? 3-0? He goes, 3-0, maybe 3-1, 3-0. And I went, OK, anything else you want to say? He goes, no. Yeah, he, that was about it. He strikes me as the kind of guy that if you if he if he could win three to minus one, he, that's what the score he would actually give you. I mean, that confident. He right went four zero in a best of five. Yeah, <laughs> excellent. But you know, you you were you were totally right in saying that Hyun does normally when he gets an opponent, kind of always complains about them, and, mm. and then he does do well. So maybe that's like his way of psyching himself maybe, out. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, statistically, these two match up relatively uh, well. It's only recently actually that life's kind of pulled ahead. Oh. Uh, up until the last two. It was actually 12-11 to life. So that would suggest that historically it was quite close. The problem is he's won six straight against yeah. him without <laughs> any reply. So that's, that's kind of writing on the wall stuff, isn't it? Yeah, it gives more rise to what I was saying earlier with life being, again, the more adaptive player and really kind of performing better now in this matchup yeah. as opposed to previous when Hyun was doing really, really well in it. And I mean, life's going all the way, guys. Let's be honest. Life's going all the way. He's going to the final. He's probably going to win the tournament, in my opinion. So. 
I don't think Hyun's going to be able to stop him. Okay. La well, he needs to be unstoppable today to be able to do Basically. that. Uh, last man to win an Intel Extreme Masters as a Zoe player was life in New York City in 2013. Do you think he can repeat it and go all the way? Definitely, but I predicted Rain to win against life in finals, so I guess not. No. <laughs> Maybe I'm going to stick to my prediction. Your predictions are all over the place. Fair enough. You, you had parting in the first game. You've got life in the second game, though. Yes. So, and you're pretty confident with that. And the upper bracket seems to be, a, I don't want to say easier, because it, you know, it's a terrific bracket throughout, but if you look at the bottom half, it's much harder to kind of separate the four yeah. players than it is maybe on the top half. Is that fair? Yeah, definitely. I feel like the matches in the bottom half are definitely more open. Anything could happen in the top half, I mean. I really don't see Hyun winning here, I'm sorry. Yeah. I love you, Hyun, if you watch this. But. You know what, though? Uh, now that you say that, with seeing Parting as he played pre uh, yesterday yeah. uh, and now in this previous game, I think if we have Parting versus Life up in that top bracket, as much as I think Life's going to do really, really well, I think Parting's happily going to present a surprise because he is Parting. So it'll be interesting to see. that. I think that's I think harder I for me to just Pardon? I convinced you. Eh, partially. <laughs> uh, I think that's harder to decide now than it was for me yesterday, okay. if it was to be a parting versus life in the semi. All right, let me let me put this to you, because this is a common sports analogy. Is Do you think there's a danger here, and maybe something that can help Hewn, is that life might be looking at this in a very, as Susie said, 3-0 fashion, and maybe there's a temptation there that he's already got one eye on parting in the semis, and that might just throw him off his game in this game. Is, is that a possibility or am I clutching the straws again? I don't think it'll throw him off too much. I don't think uh, so just either. Call me out. <laughs> if, I'm, if I'm clutching Sorry, the buddy. straws again, you have to play the Maynard card on you know, me. You know, I'm oh, not even an not. analyst and I can tell you, I don't even think, just knowing knowing life as I'm not, I'm not a, uh, an expert by any means, but just knowing the player and just knowing life, no, I don't think okay. that matters from, at From all. a player's point of view, what, have you ever done that in a tour? Have you ever thought, oh, yes. I'm playing this guy, he's yes, really yes. easy, and then you've looked at the next round, oh, who might get, was I get it against that? Actually, I was going to disagree with these guys. Not be just, not just because I like because to, but... Because you always disagree. <laughs> no, no, because actually this this time it's it's worth it. Like, uh, I really feel like life is super sick. He's always very confident. I remember him yeah. back in Katowice. He really thought he was going to win it. He did. And then all of a sudden he kind of underperformed to some extent. Like, he blew up some of his own bailings. And sometimes he has these series and these games where he plays far below his level. And you don't really know why. And then he busts out of the tournament and everybody's sad. So if there is one way he would lose here, it would be through that. Like underperform out of nowhere and then lose, but I don't the chances are very low for that to, ha to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It rarely happens, but it does sometimes. Yeah. I don't think it's happened for a while, so, so well, it's got to happen. Our, uh, <laughs> our friend from, uh, from Taiwan is on the stage right now, just uh, ready to introduce our two players onto the stage, Hyun and Life are on the way, of course, and uh, while they're doing that, we'll continue to talk about these two players. Uh, it's a great, it's a great, you know, a great round of eight, as we've already said. There he is. What, There's what do, you, what do you think of what do you think Hyun oh, makes of this? I mean, he's you know he's been all around the world. He's done. We, we had Spider Hyun at Intel Extreme Masters in New York a couple of years ago, but I haven't seen that kind of spark in him over the last few days. Is that is that a more serious Hyun that's returned to Korea to play? Is it? What, what do you think? What do you think it is? Well, when you're winning and when you're doing well, it's very easy to be yeah. happy because you're doing well. But <laughs> when times gets tough. And the tough gets going. Is it? No, never mind. Uh, <laughs> so you're gonna break out some bad. No, when there. times are tough, it's very difficult, you know, to stay happy, to have that all-around good moods. I mean, classic was literally, you know, demolished right there mentally. Yeah. And Hyun might be the same here if he loses. This means so much to these guys. And right now, his only mindset is that he needs to win. And if he doesn't, he's gonna be very, okay. very sad. I asked the gents on the desk in the previous match how important is the first map to each of the players. And we all agreed that. To parting, it probably doesn't matter, but to classic, it mattered a lot. He needed to win that first map if he was going to have any chance. Do you feel the same about Hyun in this one, that if he maybe loses the first map, it might just be the end of the game, it might end up as a 3-0? Yeah. And likewise, do you think if he wins the first map, does he gain that confidence and maybe life kind of goes, wait, hang on, this wasn't the script, this isn't what's supposed to happen? I think so, definitely, but only for Hyun. I don't think it matters okay. at all for yeah. life. Like, yeah. Life could lose two maps and he'd be like, YOLO, I'm just going to beat these guys, like, <laughs> no problem. No, you know what, that, that is actually perfect. That's exactly what I think of when I think of life. It's YOLO. Life is YOLO. Yeah. <laughs> <I get> that. <laughs> yeah, that <works. laughs> but in all sense, like, he, he doesn't really care who he's going to play against next. Yeah. Um, he's just like, yeah, remember yesterday he said, you could throw at anything at me and I'll be able to adapt to it. It yeah. doesn't really matter. And, and, you know, I just thought of it. Um, we have probably the oldest player and the youngest player going we up did. against each other actually. right now. And Hyun, uh, you know, he does complain. He's a little bit of an old man. <laughs> 
<laughs> when he's back there. <laughs> what do you uh, say? Uh, Come on, defend us. Defend us all no, people. Right. What do you say? <laughs> Actually, I'm the one who's been saying that too because Hyun, you know, he has this funny attitude where he's always screaming and shouting and yeah. stuff and he sounds like one of those Korean ajashi, which means okay. uncle, I no, believe. It's just yeah. like an older guy, yeah. you know. So, he said, so what you're saying is he's a Korean version of you. Yeah, basically. Um, yeah. <laughs> but younger, younger than me, though. Younger and wiser. Not much, though. But, you know, because of that, I think this means a lot to Hyun. Uh, he wants to win this. He knows that if he keeps uh, not doing as well, then off to the army he goes. You know, that, that's that's basically where it is. Where for life, you know, he just started. He's so yeah. young and he's got the yeah. world. You know, the world's his oyster Yeah, at this just, point. just started in just a small matter of eight titles to be Yeah, that's already. all. I think also it's a daunting task for Crazy. Hyun in the sense that he's probably the weakest player coming into the round of eight, which is not too often to be said about a guy yeah. like Hyun because <laughs> yeah. the lineup is so stacked. So yeah. even if he were to transcend life here, then it would be kind oh. of difficult Transcend? from there. Oh, wow. K -L -R -S. You, you did not. I, I love it. I didn't it. even mean that. I love it. <laughs> love it. It's okay. We got, we got it anyway. All right. All right. I'll tell you what. At Kolaris, he's unbelievable. Let's head over to our commentary team for game number two of the round of eight. It is a feisty ZVZ, which can mean only one thing. It's Maynard and Apollo. That's exactly what it means, Red Eye. Welcome back, guys, until Extreme Masters in Taipei. We're associated with the Zerg vs. Zerg for some reason now. Well, I can see why I would be coming from Oceania and all. There was a That's lot, true. Lot of and we did cast there. a lot of Zerg vs. Zerg in the open bracket, we and did. we saw a lot of Hyun victories in the open bracket, too. So he's undefeated so far in the tournament, but now he's come up against the real Zerg, the true Zerg. The true Zerg, the big guy, the world champion. He's like the, he, he's the face. He should, instead of the Zerg symbol, it should be life's face. That's, he, that's pretty much is, what it is right is now because the guy. It's, it's almost not just the Zerg symbol but the Starcraft symbol because life is Starcraft right now. He's playing unbelievable in the last couple of months. You know, he's won BlizzCon, he's entered 2015 like a champion. He's still in the top 16 for Star League, top 16 GSL, and he's continuing to dominate. He's his team's best player in Pro League. And to be honest, I think he's going to challenge for the title. I think he's going to the final this tournament. I absolutely think he's going to the final to, to this tournament. I think he's actually going to be facing, well, my prediction at the beginning when I saw the brackets was uh, that Hero would be yeah. facing Life in the final. And that I would think that probably Hero would beat Life. He's the only one that has recently, like, back and forth, been sharing games and trading wins with Life. Hyun, however, I mean, they mentioned that he's a little bit grumbly and he wasn't too happy about meeting mm. some of those extra Zergs, but he did 2-0. 2-0 revival, 2-0 check, 2-1 two two one snoot. snoot. All right, 2-0 Sen. He's 4-0 yeah. so far in Zerg versus Zerg. Yes, but I'll tell you what. The top right here from Team Rocket. This is Hyun. Very important tournament for Hyun. We've talked a little bit about how he isn't in GSL, how he isn't in Star League. Yeah. These international tournaments now are everything to him, considering he's not in WCS America anymore. That's right, this guy's got a lot going for him on the other end. This is Startail's life. And the eight-time StarCraft II champion Point sharing a very temple. similar personality to Parting. And yes, he has opened up with a temple here. Yeah, he's not, he, he's not an aggressive personality like Parting, but he's certainly very smug and sure of himself. And rightfully Absolutely. so. You know what, if I was life, I would be... Uh, that, that, um, I was yeah. thinking of some nice words, but I can't really think of anything right now. <laughs> I, I, would, I his, would be a dick, his, absolutely. <laughs> his personality shines through into his gameplay, that is for certain, and we're seeing that here with a 10 pull and then 10 gas as well. So with a 10 pull and 10 gas, he's going to be able to get the Zerglings across the map very, very fast. But there's one thing here. They've spawned in these uh -oh. uh, vertical positions. The Overlord is already on its way to life, but unfortunately, because of the rush speed of this, as good as it will be, he'll finally see it. But by the time he sees it, the Zerglings will pretty much be on his front door. So he can't adjust his build here. There's, there's uh. nothing he can really do. The one thing, look at this though. 15 hatch, 14 spawn and pull. Pretty fast spawn and pull following that hatchery. At least he didn't get the gas before the spawning pool. That would definitely put him in a really, really rough spot here. I mean, it's already going to be pretty rough. Yeah. These are going to be speed... And a baneling nest as well from life. Oh, my yep. Oh my goodness, Apollo. This is going to be uh, pretty rough for Hyun. Uh, I mean, you can defend with just minerals, but will the hatchery, will the hatchery live? It's a, well, uh, I, I, I like think it. if he goes for the hatchery here, I think he'd be wasting a lot of time. He's yeah, got to go, go straight for, for the drones here. 
Um, there's one small tell that was in this game, and I think Hyun might have seen it. There was a very small tell. His initial overlord just saw the second overlord alive coming out of his main base. If you just look at the minimap for a quick second before the action goes off, look where the second overlord is Hyun is. It's by the Zelnoga Tower. Why is Life's second overlord just now leaving its base? This is a small tell for a good player. Spine crawl starting without even seeing it because the Hatchery doesn't know. That small tell is what he picked up on. Excellent play from Hyun. Great pick up, and he sees the Bending Nest as well. Drops that Spine Crawl at the very back of the Mineral Lines. He's lost one drone so far, but he's got a good surround around the Lings. And his own Lings are coming out right now, so he's looking pretty good against the initial attack, but the three Bane Lings is what he really needs to look out for! Oh, very close there. He mustn't get hit by the Bane Lings. Nice he's trade lost so two far. Zerglings. Yeah, that was a good trade. One for one there with the Bane Ling. Lost the Zerglings to the other Zerglings, and when the Queens come out, this will get a little bit easier, but life is going for the throat here. Remember, there's a Spine Crawler coming as well. Yeah, this absolutely. isn't going to be as easy as life may no, think it will Jean, be. John actually looks really good right now. Great block with the Queen in between the spawning pool and hatchery. That's right, and he's, he's target firing the Banelings, the Zerglings of Hyun, trying to hold back. The Banelings are so close there, they're detonating on the Zerglings. They're going for the, for the mineral line. The Zerglings are getting in there, the drones can only do damage, they can't kill. The Lings will have to finish him off, but it looks like Hyun's held here. This is a wonderful hold. Absolutely wonderful About hold. About as good here. as it gets. The he's... micro is on point. Um, a lot of players make mistakes. It's the first game on stage today. It's the first game of the day for these players, pretty much. Um, apart from some warm-up games, but... That was a perfect hold, and now he's two hatcheries ahead. He's got queens, he's got a spine crawler, and he knows there's no hatchery from his opponent on the other side of the map. Yeah. All he's got to do is just nail the follow-up, which is make sure that what life's going to do next is going to be held easily. So make a wall, start to creep spread. Evolution chambers, just focus on drones. Don't even think about gas, in my opinion. Just drones, 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 minerals, 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 more queens, make a wall, spine crawl up another one if you need to, and you're going to be good. Exactly. Get further ahead. Get that lava up. Get the macro up so that you can just power ahead of your opponent. Sheer numbers is a yeah. much safer way to win than going for tech options. Yeah. Follow up scout here sees Bangley, uh, Zirkling speed on the way, excuse me. Yeah, and the Bangley Nest obviously knows all about that, having to deal with them a little bit earlier. Yeah. Second spine starting. And yeah, uh, that's so. what he needs just additional mineral only units and structures. Yeah. I mean, that's that's exactly what he's worried about here after seeing that that wiggling spawning pool. Will life, okay. having seen this, follow up with a with a Ling Flood? Okay, he cancels that spine. Yeah, caller. he decided to cancel it, thinking that he's going to be okay without the second spine here. Obviously, when you build the second spine, you're losing a drone, therefore losing a bit of economy doing so. Yeah. And I guess it depends. Does life want to follow up with aggression? Because if Hyun overcommits to defense when it is pure drones coming out from life, technically life can start to catch up. Yeah, absolutely. Hyun's got that, that block there, speedlings. Always a danger, but Hyun can see that there's only yeah. a small cluster here. So if you if you look at Hyun's overlords on the other side of the map, if there were to be a flood of Zerglings, he'd see it, and it's a pretty big map, Deadwing. Yes. So if he saw it here, where we're looking at currently, he would have enough time to start a wall with structures, and he's got a spine crawler and queens around for transfuses and just kind of protection anyway. So I really feel that Hyun has made the right choices. He started well with his micro. His decision making has been very precise and very accurate as well. He lost one drone to the speedlings there. Decent pick off for life. Any bit of economic economic damage you can do here is nice, but he is still behind in that econ. Getting a couple more drones, yeah. just losing the links. And currently, the world champion is pushing his way to a loss in this game. He needs to do something drastic to turn this around. 40 oh. drones for Hyun, only just 29 for life. So Life's going to try and turn this around by powering the economy here, going for a pretty quick third hatchery. Yeah. Well, not a quick third hatchery, but uh, based on what he's seeing, he's going to try and get ahead of Hyun in economy. But, but Hyun can stop one. droning from this point. He's reached pretty much the minimal amount of two base saturation. He's at 44 drones, which is very comfortable income for minerals and gas. If he was to power up pure units very, very shortly, he could just nail down that third with a very powerful attack, especially if he works around those 1-1 one -one upgrades, which he has a major advantage over life yeah. on. If he hits with like 12 or so roaches with a 1-1, one -one, it's going to be extremely tough for life, especially for the, since he's putting his minerals into his economy right now. Yeah, and I think the, the unit production is about to begin. Two overlords in production for, for Hyun. He's opening up his supply now. Three overlords, four overlords. He's only built one roach because he wants to spend money on opening the supply, and then he's going to flood, I would imagine, with roaches. It's not necessarily a must do but it's a way to just go over and kill off life yeah i'm expecting roach speed there there it is and the roaches are starting to come out for hyun for a piece doesn't quite have that lava build up just yet yeah. but they will be popping very shortly
And a third hatchery for Life about to go up. He's going for the upgrades as well, but obviously yeah. a fair way behind Young. Even though Life hasn't scouted what's going on in this game, you can you know that your third base has been scouted, and if I can tell what the best way to deal with that third base is, Life is going to tell what the best way yes. to deal with that third base is. So I'm interested to see how Life is going to try to defend this. He's on minimal amounts of drones. He's only on 43 compared to 50 of Hyun, and he's already started his unit production. He knows his attack is coming, but because of the deficit he put himself in, because his attack early didn't work, no matter how good and how much he sets himself up for this, I don't think it's going to be possible to hold it. It might just, it's, um, like I said earlier in the cast, it's, it's a bit, when you can make the game about the numbers and just have too much for your opponent, take the skill out of the equation, just send too much for him to handle at him, that's just... Uh, the best way to win. It's he's the gonna, most safe way to win. He's going to have the high ground. He's going to have a better spread of units and queens in support here. Those are the advantages he has fighting from this position. Yeah, definitely. The high ground here. The launch pad, as Snood likes to call it. He has that creep as well to springboard off against those roaches. But these roaches will have speed, Apollo, so they can easily engage and yeah. disengage from the fight as well Hyun, without taking too many losses. Hyun will want to be like a wrecking ball. He'll want to go up this ramp and just bang and get right up close because he's got roach speed. Yeah, but will life be riding that Wrecking Ball? Uh, we'll see. Coming through. He's got the Concave here on the bottom. Life starting to solidify at the top here. The Queen helping quite a bit. The Roach is pushing through. They do have that 1-1. One, one. He is hitting with speed as well. The Queens of Jung coming down as well. So he's going to commit a little bit to this. Yeah, Trans Trans going from down. Behind. Yeah, helping out a lot. And Life, I mean, he has that third hatchery with the, with the extra bit of lava and the defender's advantage, but these transfusers from Yanni has a lot of transfusers left still. And Two more on the Queens, and he's pushing through here at Apollo. This is just overwhelming for Life. GG, Hyun gets game number one. Against the world champ, no less. He finishes him off after a perfect defense against that early build that we saw coming out from Life. And you've got to credit a couple of things there to Hyun. His build, yes, he did go hatchery first, but it was a 14 spawn and pull, which did allow Spine Crawler, Queen, and Lynx to be built a couple of seconds earlier than they would do if it was a later spawn and pull. That assisted in the defense. And of course, he was able to pick up on scouting information in the early game to know that this attack was happening, and he was prepared and really ready to do that. Yeah, absolutely. So before we get into game number two between these incredible heavyweights, from the Zerg race. We'll have, to have a short break for a minute and a half, and then we'll be back to cast game number two of Life and Hyun. Hey, StarCraft fans, welcome back. Game number two between Hyun and Life about to kick off Apollo. And I gotta say, I mean, the last time these guys faced it was a straight clean sweep. Life 4 0. But Hyun's already got, He's already got the a edge. Map He's already got the edge to his name. And Life's had a, a very, uh, pretty much a perfect tournament so far with his games earlier on the 2 0 uh, versus 4 GG and then the followed up 2-0 versus Soul Key. And it looked easy for him, and yeah. he was looking great. He suffered his first loss in this tournament now versus Hyun, who, as we did mention, is 4-0 in Zerg versus Zerg in this tournament. And the Zergs he's beaten are pretty well, they're pretty well off. They're very good players. Absolutely. And we'll see which way this is going to go. This next map, very important here for life. Cannot afford to drop this. That would be disastrous going down 0-2. No, and how's life going to feel being down two maps, being a guy that's generally the guy that's up two maps at this that's point right. the best of three? So this is uh, probably not very comfortable waters for, this, for the uh, 
for the world champion here on the top right here from Team Rocket, winning that first game with a great Roach timing. This is Hyun. And in the bottom left, the greatest player from Startel, Yoi Flash Wolves, the BlizzCon champion. This is Life. All right, so we're entering the uh, the very first stage of Zerg vs. Zerg, and I, I was actually, because we knew we were going to commentate this Zerg vs. Zerg today, I dreamt about Zerg vs. Zerg last night, and the different segments that there are within Zerg vs. Zerg, and we're entering the first part of it right now. There's about four parts of it that really stand out the most above the rest. The very first part is, what builds do they choose to try to gain an advantage over the other player? Because 15 hatch is slightly better than spawning pool first. Um, nine spawning pool can be good against hatchery first, for example. So there's a lot of um, build order advantages that the players can gain. So far, they've gone up to 15, um, 15 workers each. And we see that Hyun is playing a little bit more cautious after going up 1-0 here. And is going to go for the 15 spawning pool. So if life had gone for an early spawning pool again, Hyun would be looking pretty good, and it's actually followed it up by a pretty fast extractor here. So it's okay. going to be a hatchery that's coming down, but he's going to have a heightened zergling speed in this game that you don't yeah. see very often. This is such a Wings Liberty thing to see that uh, speedling expand, which it looks like Hyun's doing right now. Yeah. I haven't seen it for a very long time, Apollo, but it is kind of coming back a little bit. I mean, with the new maps, very too basey. Mm. I mean, these these last two maps have been from the previous map pool, and that's all, all well and good, but this is the metagame right now in ZBZ. Yeah. It's, it's starting to shift. There's a change in the air, and uh, life is going for the much more standard and as greedy as possible hatchery, gas, then pool. But uh, and I feel like life's going to be a lot more comfortable in this situation with the extra greed, because he is a macro monster. He'll be completely fine in uh, with this yeah. kind of opening. And Hyun, opening safe from him, did get 10 pulled in the last game, so I wouldn't be surprised. <coughs> I, I would have as well. well first, we've got to that. really see what Hyun has planned with the early gas that he's gone for here. What type of aggressive play? Because you don't really play like this if you're looking to play more passive. You'd open up gasless or even yeah. something that life has chosen. I mean. Generally, when you're speedling expanded, that means you're going to make water polo. You're going to make speedlings. You're going to make and a lot of speedlings. You're going to make a lot of them. That's and right. usually to follow that is a bailing nest, too. Uh, but we can see he's that he's taken out of gas. And with an early spawning pool, he can deny the overlord from getting in. I'm starting to build an image of what we could see from Kion. If he can deny the scout of the overlord, which he naturally should do because he's got the spawning pool first, and can deny any lings from getting inside his base, he could build up a flood of zerglings and just overwhelm. Yeah, and this has definitely clinched some pretty easy and fast wins. There's a lot of Zergs on the ladder. You hide that cluster of yeah. wings, you use that fast queen to shoo away the Overlord. He's not in this case, though. The Overlord of Life is still parked around that ramp that he'll no doubt be taking. He's only sending the two out for now. So I'm very interested to see. There's That's six more on the way. Six more on the there way already. Is. So we're starting to see that climb up. Will it be more than that? I have a feeling it's going to be. Oh, the micro. So yeah. sick from Life. Ten more on the way now. This is building up for a big attack. And the thing is, Life has not got a bailing speed. He's taken a drone out of gas. And uh, I mean, he's taken multiple drones out of gas. So he's only just about to reach 50, which means the bailing, the nest has to come down and then bailings to be built on top of that. And here comes the deny of the scout. And the, oh, the scout oh, has been denied. Two just saw, I think he just saw those two links Six there. Six links are being built by Life in a bailing nest. So two links gave it up. Exactly. And life, links coming in for life. Life is as prepared as he could possibly be. Great tell, great read from life. Hyun moving across the maps. Cancel the third, obviously. Yeah, and I think he knows that this isn't going to work as well. He's built quite a few links, but he's fought back to drones here. Unfortunately, he gave that away. Now, there is a counterattack potential from life because he has the bailing nest on the way. He could pressure Hyun after this attack. It doesn't look like Hyun's going to get too much done here with the amount of links from life. Speed being done for life as well. Oh, he's overwhelming with this micro here. He's actually got a good surround on those links. Took quite a few out yeah. before, re before retreating. Very tense couple of moments here in the early stages of this Zerg vs Zerg, but we are going to fall back to a slower game from this point. With both having a bailing nest out and both having Zerglings out, it's very difficult to break your opponent when you have the same units, especially trying to break a defensive player with queens and a yeah. potential spine crawler. So we should technically move on to the next part of this game. Yeah, definitely looks like it. A couple more bailings going up for Hyun, but it looks like they're just defensive. It's just going to hold the ramp. Oh man, the amount of times I played Z Zerg vs Zerg when those two those two banelings right on top of the ramp bursted right in my face. Always going to pick up a queen. Does Maybe he needs to be very careful. Ooh. Yeah, he does not want to lose that queen. Very close to losing that, in fact, but uh, she does live to fight another day and for a few more injections at least. All right, Hyun. And uh, it looks like yeah, he's forced out 20 lings by. Uh, I mean, life has forced out 20 lings there because it was a little bit scary. So there's a lot of units out. 
So we could see Hyun go to the other side of the map with as well. That's right. Life getting the lair for gases. Mutalisks on the way for the world champ. Mm. Hyun as well getting his gases, but only up to three. And dropping a Roach Warren instead. Dropping a Roach Warren. Very interesting. You'd expect to see the lair come into play now. I wonder if he's two overlords coming in here, Maynard. Life just made 22 Zerglings, Apollo. He's still making his 18 Zerglings on the way. Hyun has seen the third base, and he's also seen the lair. He's going to try to break this down. He's going to try and bust this. Yeah, he's going to go for a timing for Mutalus to become a problem here. Yeah, he's, he's going to go Roach Bailing. A oh, big engagement here at the front. A couple of Bailings looking for those sweet, juicy connections, but haven't quite got him just yet. Oh. If one Bailing connects with two, not too bad there. That's uh, Oh, Hyun got cornered there! He lost so many yeah. circlings to that Bailing there. Great connection for Life. Very good for, for Life's defense here. But Life still yet to identify what exactly is going on. To be honest, to defend this, you need a, a, couple, a good couple of spine crawlers. There's going to be 12 roaches. Zerklings alone aren't going to be able to kill the roaches because there's going to be Banelings in support here. It's very important for Life to identify what he's playing against. He's adding on gases to his third base. He doesn't know what's going on. These oh, links. No. Will they start to figure this out? They run past. They, they see, the, see the roaches! Oh, there that it is! That is a big talus, a big, big scout coming out from Life! And Life's gonna have to change it up here. He's making four, five spine crawlers. He's gotta get the spire up. He needs everything he can on the floor to try and deal with this, and in the air as well. He's made a lot of Zerglings. He was looking for a cancel or for a run by here, but he has got a lot of roaches to deal with instead. He, he wasn't prepared for this. He's gonna try and buy himself some time. He's gonna run around, maybe bring Hyun back, and then try to get himself some time to get these spines and the, uh, the spire out. That's a lot of speedlings that Hyun has to deal with. He's making defensive banelings. I don't think Hyun's going to turn around here, Apollo. He's not turning around and he's going to walk into the spine core. He's going to pick off one before it even completes. At least one going down. The banelings have finished and life is tearing apart the natural of Hyun, but Hyun is looking for the death blow here. Lots of roaches, more spine crawlers going down. The spire not done yet. 18 drones have gone down from the speedling attack of life. He's into the main, he's broken through. Hyun. Continues the pressure. The roaches are all still alive. The, the spine crawlers are all dead. Mutas are on the way, though. Nine muters on the way. He just has to not take critical damage here before the muters come out. And life will probably be okay here. But the natural. Oh, good connection with that bailing on the lings. But uh, the mutas are on the way. Life has completely annihilated the economy, drones, queens, everything that Hyun has back at home. All that life has to do is stop to do and clear up these roaches. Yeah, I mean. He is down to one hatchery, but Hyun lost 30 drones from that run by. 30 life's, drones! Life's gonna hold this. This is an absolutely wonderful defense against this attack, and it all stemmed from that scout with the Zerglings. Absolutely. Those Zerglings seeing those last one of roaches, life would have straight up died if he didn't make those spine yeah. crawlers up in time. I mean, the spine crawlers slowed down the roaches. They didn't hit them, sure, but Hyun's going for the spy here, but doesn't matter. The muters are already out on the field. 10, yeah. in fact. And uh, GG from Hyun. Life wins himself game number two and ties it up one apiece. Very, very impressive play from both sides there. Coming down to minimal amounts of information being gathered to then changing up play. If there was a couple of moments in that game, if either of them hadn't have scouted what was going on, the game could have just ended like that. Life held that by the skin of his teeth. It was it was a hair's breadth away from going either way. That's for, that's for sure. But. Uh... Oh, man. Life might be just be taking a bit of a deep breath and slowing down his heart rate a little bit after that game. My heart rate's skyrocketing yeah. right now. This is this is very intense, Starcraft. This is uh, unbelievable Zerg versus Zerg here. Absolutely yeah. unbelievable. Life is a god. He's a prodigy of playing Zerg, and he really did show very, very high-level play there. Unfortunately for Hyun, was denied the 2-0. But, of course, Hyun is also playing above my expectations, I think. And yeah. it kind of sounds a little bit weird for me to say that, but... I thought coming into this, this might be a steamroll of life just walking over Hyun, but I'm very impressed with the way that Hyun has approached this series. He knows that life is the better player, is the world champion. And Hyun yesterday said, oh man, I'm playing life. This is so bad for me. But, <laughs> you know, he's had a good night rest. He's came in today and he's looking great. I, I couldn't agree with you more, Paul. I, mean, I, I completely also expected Hyun to just, to, to frankly be outclassed in the CVZ, but each of these games so far, I mean, game three might be different, but these last two games have been incredibly close. Yeah. Incredibly close. The 10 pull nearly did the, the, the damage that he needed to do, and the second that the seconds that were needed for those muters to come out to hit those roaches with the run-by decision from life, yeah. 
The thing is, the run by decision was actually maybe the, the most beautiful part of that hold there. Um, because if you don't do the run by and you try to defend with just the Zerklings and Spines, the Zerklings die pretty fast to the Bailings that are coming with the attack. But what Life did was gut everything back at home. So it really didn't matter how much he lost as long as the Mutalists were out because there was no way Hyun was going to follow up with anything going down to five drones. Yeah. If, for example, Hyun was able to keep the drones alive and there was no counterattack, he'd be on, let's say, 30, 35 drones at that type of attack. But Life would be on one base. Hyun would be on two with the capability of having you know, uh, static defense everywhere, spore crawlers, queens, and then the Mutalist really wouldn't do that much in the game. The counter attack was the beautiful part there. Absolutely. If he didn't, if he didn't, if, even if he killed only 10 drones less or, or anything like that, you're absolutely right. The two hatcheries would have made Hyun power through and with the spore crawlers and the lava that he would have had, he could have easily defended against the counter attack with the Mutalists and whatever was on the ground left over for life. So without further ado, game number three between these two incredible Zergs and this incredible round of eight at this incredible tournament. This is Rock Asian. And in the bottom right of Catalina, Star Tail's life. I could gush about this kid all day long. He's I mean, when you're 18 years old and have won eight StarCraft II tournaments, I think anybody could. Yeah. My god. And that's that's in the last two years as well. That's not like he was around in 2010, 2011 winning those tournaments. That's you know, 2012 and onwards. Yep. So, pretty incredible count of Premier tournaments, and not to mention the other majors that he's won as well. It's just, yeah. Hyun is, uh, you know, a very, very accomplished player as well. He's got two championships to his name, not eight, but two. Uh, but has had multiple and countless top eights, top four finishes. I, I mean, I yeah. literally don't even know the number because he's had so many. Um, but this year is going to be a very different year for Hyun. It's potentially his last year in StarCraft as well as he gets older and older and military yeah. service is calling. So it's a very important year for Hyun to end on a high note, especially because it's going to be a more difficult year. And if he can end on a high note, I'm sure he'd be feeling over the moon with his accomplishments in StarCraft 2. Already with the last games, even though he's only won one of them, I've got renewed faith in Hyun. I feel like he's going toe-to-toe yeah. -to -toe with the scariest... Well, I so. with, with the... I mean... He is the scariest player in this bracket for me, Life. Even though I'm tipping Hero to beat uh -huh. him if he makes it to a final, I, I, Life is the scariest player for me. And then Life going for pull and then, sorry, for the, the hatch and yeah. then the pull here. So not getting the gas. Both players looking very similar. Hyun has got the advantage because he's able to scout what his opponent's doing very early on. This is the uh, advantage uh, of what he's gained being on this three player map. He chose the right way. Unfortunately, Life didn't. Uh, they both played relatively cautious with their openings. It was a 15 hatch for Hyun, 14 spawn in pool. Uh, and then for life, interestingly, was 14 hatch, 14 pull, I think it was. So both very cautious with their drone cats before throwing these down and identical with the extractors. Overall, to summarize this, very identical openings, but Hyun does take the advantage because he's got the scouting information because of the way that his overload went compared to life's. That's right, and life just one second ahead in the build order so far, so uh, not a whole lot to really report here in the early stages of this ZVZ. Both things are... Are, uh, you know, both players are looking very, um, you know, safe, standard. Not too much action in the early stages of this CVZ. So it'll be a while before everything kicks into gear here. Absolutely. And these uh, two Zerglings going to be very important here for life. Completely in the dark. He needs to try to figure out what's going on because for all he knows, it could be the same build that Hyun attempted in the previous one with the mass Zergling speed. Yeah, exactly. Speedling span completely uncommon. It definitely looked like it caught life off guard, but luckily for him, his scouting was on point that game. The scouting actually won life that game. Yes, it did. Both times, he nearly died to something that if he didn't see it coming, he would have 100%. All right, well, life's going to try and get here. some information. Uh, it looks like too much here from Pyon. Life's going to try and circle around. Oh, does get in there with the one zergling, so actually very, very lucky here to see what he, see yeah. what he can see. Sees that 100 gas has been uh, mined and that zergling speed is on its way. But one thing we can note from Kion is he delayed getting zergling speed um, and actually cancelled it. Oh. I mean, he was delaying it and then did research it, so he did show zergling speed to life, but he was delaying it. And uh, he's delaying it, and he's also, by delaying it, focusing very heavy on his economy, naturally, because when you don't... It's not like the 100 gas... With the 100 gas, it's the 100 minerals, but he's using the 100 minerals, as you can see now, dropping to pure drones. Very greedy opening here from Life, and what I, uh, from Hyun. I think he won't even get circling speed. I think he'll probably go straight to layer here with this. Yeah, oh, very likely. I mean, this is a good map for, uh, for Mutalists, because you do actually, 
you know, it's a tough third to hold with just ground units. Yeah. You do have the speedlings, but oh, this is a nice place to Overlord here from Black. He does see the Roach Warren go down. Hyun gets into the main base just about and sees the layer started. He does, yeah. So Hyun got, probably got a pretty good idea of what's happening here. Life as well, pretty good idea. Going up for the gases and the lair. And there's, yeah, so the four gases were expected here. Just a, a pretty slow game from both, but lots of small details that have gone into this already. Yeah, it looks like he's uh, trying to go for a big Roach upgrade attack again yep. with that extra gas. And Life going up for the quicker third. Yeah, Small life, differences is, here. life is playing like a, a greedy mutilist game. Yeah. Um, I think he realized that there was a lot of queens and drones out from Kion, so he was he was okay to get away with no uh, Baneling speed, for example. Or no Baneling uh, nest at all, sorry. Ooh. And he pokes in for a quick cut here to kind of just verify what he kind of knew was happening anyway. So he's got a very fast two base saturated uh, economy and also a very fast spy with a very fast third base too. So life has been pretty much zooming ahead of things. And we're just going to see the more traditional setup that we've seen quite commonly recently in Zerbus Zerg, Mutilisk versus the ground army. Yeah. And we've actually seen Mutilisk versus Mutilisk a couple times in this tournament as well, which is not something I've seen a whole lot of recently in ZBZ, but starting to get back into fashion. Life heading across the map with a lot of Zerglings looking for a third hatchery cancel here. He's moving it across onto Hyun's creep, and Hyun doesn't have a whole lot on the ground yet. Pretty he much just queens. It's going to get cancelled. Yeah. That's too much. Uh, ooh, Life getting, uh, trying to get into the natural, which would have been nice. There's a lot of juicy drones there, but he'll just have to deal with the hatch cancel for now. Yeah, that's a, that's a good pick off, though. Uh, it's almost, though, with this type of play, expected to have your hatch cancelled. So it's not the end of the world here for Hyun. No, nah, not really. And he's going to have a lot of powerful units. He's got Roach Speed, 1-1 one, one on the way for him. Yeah. And it definitely worked out for him in the first game. But that said, though, Life didn't go for, a, for an aggressive opening. He's gone for a very, very greedy opening. So he's going to have a Spire and a Roach Warren going down as well. Yeah, he's going to build 10 Mutilus by the looks of it, and then switch straight into Roaches himself. Um, we have a lot of Roaches on the way for Hyun. He does have 1-1, one, one and or will have 1-1, one, one, should I say, and Roach Speed. He has the capability to do a lot of damage. Absolutely. And he knows about the Spire as well, thanks to that Overseer of his. I really hope that after spending uh, all your gas on Mutilus here for life, he doesn't go back to drones. He could get stung quite heavily by this Roach production that Hyun's gone for. Oh, he could burn down his hatchery again for another cancel, and he will. Yeah, okay, he'll definitely build units after this. Yeah. He knows he's so far ahead when it comes to production and lava that he doesn't need to further himself. He doesn't need to get further ahead than he already is. He's just got to build block. units. Hyun actually with a very bad supply block there, making three overlords oh, now. Oh no, that's very bad for him, especially when you're in this type of game where you need oh. to deal damage. And the hatchery to the cancel again, but that doesn't matter, he's going to make units anyway. But he can't because of the supply block. Hyun just has to move across with these upgraded oh, roaches. And, and Life is already tapping them on the head with units on his own, and he's making a lot of roaches as well. As Life looking like he's in a beautiful spot here. All Life has to do is defend his hatchery. That's actually the most important part. As long as the hatchery stays alive, he's going to be in a fantastic position. Yeah, and there's a lot of roaches here, but here come the Life's. Here comes Life's roaches when he's natural, and yeah, these, hat these roaches are getting drones, they're getting a queen, but the hatchery will still live. And Hyun is just in a rough spot. It's not very, too much he can do. Very difficult position here. Um, he's behind on production. Depending on where life wants to spend that production, is it going to be for in a fight or is it going to be for drones? And at the moment, it's looking like a fight. So he might be able to overpower Hyun because it's three hatcheries worth of lava injects and lava available compared to just two. Look at the supply difference. That's right. And Hyun, the Roach King, is going to upgrade his uh, his kingdom here and go up for a big, big, big Roach count with the upgrades and locking down the spores for the muters. But life could just overwhelm here. Yeah, yeah. Just think about how much free damage these mutilists are dealing now in the middle yeah. of the map. Every time a Roach is on the field, on his side of the map, he will chase it down with mutilists and kill it 100% for free. Life has a pretty decent Roach count now. He's getting up there. I mean, the upgrades are definitely not in his favor, but look at this count. He just has a lot. I mean, the Spore Crawler is helping out, is, is unburrowed and not helping out against the Mutas right now. It's just burrowing now. Hyun taking a lot of damage from his push from Life. Oh, the Roach is coming down for the natural. He's got the defender's advantage. Yeah, the Queens are helping out with the transfusers. The Spore's dealing with the Mutilus, but they found a nice position here to do some damage. Life using, he's losing the Mutilus to the Spore Crawler. It's a nice play, Spore Crawler from Hyun, keeping him alive in this fight for now. Spore Crawler helping out, the plus yeah. one carapace helping out, Queens assisting in this fight, and all Hyun's got to do is hold, because if he holds, he gets to 2-2, two -two, and then he just simply outclasses what Life has. Yeah, his units are going to be stronger. He's going to be up by three upgrades. He's going to have plus two armor and a higher attack yeah. upgrade as well. And he lost his queen, remember, life did on his third base. So he had momentum at the start of this. But having lost that queen, he doesn't quite have the same production he would have normally on that third. And he's had to back off. 
which allows Shun to get the two to upgrades. He survives that timing window where he's a little bit weak. Yeah. And now Hyun is starting to be the powerful one. Hyun is building up towards a 2-2 timing himself. If he just turns this around, goes for a fight when he has 2-2, I don't think Life, even if he has more numbers, which he doesn't, by the way, can take that on. Yeah, Life he, has to think of desperate measures, counterattacks, runarounds. He definitely didn't have a very efficient fight. That Spore Crawler that's on screen right now helped Hyun out so much against the Mutalist. That's going up for a plus two and plus and plus one Carapace, but Hyun's 2-2, two, two, gonna finish. Yeah, this is nasty. 13 seconds, right there. So th and when Hyun's 2-2 two, two is done, he is going to push, man. Life uh, has a drone drone lead, but Hyun is only making units right now. All right, Life needs to use the map control he has to his advantage. Look how there's no blue overlords anywhere on the map. Hyun only sees what Hyun sees on creep. Life has to do runarounds because he, if he buys himself enough time to get the plus two attack and the plus one carapace, he's technically, I mean, we can see 58 drones to 47. He has a better income, which means he can build more units. If he sacrifices units and tries to run around a little bit, this could be a way to buy enough time to get these upgrades. If he doesn't decide to do that, he will purely rely on having a better defensive stance yeah. and hoping that the numbers he has, which is very similar to Hyun, can outclass these two to upgrades. Now, when you have similar numbers, you need to rely on some static defense if your opponent is outclassing you with these upgrades. And he oh, man. absolutely is right now. 2-2 two, two versus just plus one attack during his attack. Yeah, this is Life's Shun's opportunity. Up a, yeah, this is his chance to break through Life here. He's trying to get himself a concave. Life ties that high ground on the ramp advantage. He can split his Roaches up a little bit more and get that big white arc. Hyun finding a nice spot, actually getting a good Roach spread with 2-2. Two, two, but Life has a lot of Roaches behind his. And with the defender's advantage, it's not too long for him to reinforce. The Queens aren't coming down just yet. A little bit surprising to see no transfusions from Life. These two 12 upgrades are absolutely unbelievable in this fight. Unbelievable, as one would say. They are. They're doing so much damage, and he's actually winning. But the problem is, the, the, the Roaches aren't being reinforced. He has a higher Roach count, but they're all on the other side of the map here. And this is allowed time for Life to get to a plus two attack of his own and that plus one carapace. He made Zerglings with that attack. Probably because of his gas count ah. at the time. He's going to have a lot of Zerglings on the map with his Roaches. Now, what is he going to do with his, with his, with his Zerglings? Looks yeah. like Hyun's going back to droning behind this. Like, if there was no reinforcements that were allowed to enter the fight where they were waiting to be tag-teamed in, Hyun would have won that overall. But unfortunately, they were just it's too easy. The, the hatchery is giving Roaches from the natural right into the fight there. Made it very easy for life to hold that position. And now it's plus two attack for life, plus one carapace. He's down in an armor upgrade, but he has a superior amount of units. He does indeed, and he's pushing forward. He's got some lings ready to, to try and kill this third and at least a whole bunch of drones while his main army's pulling Hyun out of position at the front of the natural. And he's getting a couple here. He's going to get the queen at least. And that's... is he? Oh, actually very close. Lives on 13 hit points, my god. Yeah, it would have been nice if he got that. Really slowed down the, uh, the amount of production capable from that third. Yep, but uh, no too much, not too much of a production hit there for Hyun. All right, he's next getting move. Burrow. I was actually about to mention this um, when Life was attacking Hyun. I'm surprised that Hyun isn't going for that uh, that that tech that he loves so much and works so well with him against Snoot. Yeah. Going for the 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 tunneling claws and the Burrow upgrade, and then using those roaches to go around the map and just hit several hatcheries, mineral lines at once, yep. while getting himself in a defensive spot. And Life is weak to that. He is. He doesn't have any defense anywhere. Any overseers, any spore crawlers, nothing right and now. He might actually run right into a trap. Actually, Hyun getting into a bit of a trap. Hyun, <laughs> Hyun's actually in a big life concave here. He's got to reposition his roaches, and he does. There's just so many roaches here from life. 61 versus the 54 of Hyun's. But Hyun does have the upgrade advantage and the borrow upgrade. No and Giant's gonna, life's going to leave because he doesn't have that overseer. Absolutely no right. No overseer, so he's going to uh, heal up underground. Yep. But I wonder how well this will work, the uh, tunneling close here. Hyun's going to play very similar to, uh, you know, Leenok and some other Zergs that are very... Uh, I, I think they use this a lot. He's just going to spread and send a lot of roaches in multiple different angles borrowed and hopefully deal damage over time to wear life down. Whereas life chose the Bailing Nest. The Bailing Nest isn't going to be as useful in this situation. It's going to be very difficult uh, for him to get bailing speed and also get enough circlings out to help support. It's actually not a bad attack from Hyun here, but Life manages to get in a position just in time to better away the Roaches for now. He has that concave advantage again, the ramp helping him out a lot yeah. to get that surround uh, around those Roaches of Hyun. And Hyun just pure Roach right now. I mean, Life's going to try and go for bailing speed if to try and hit this If he can get to bailing but... speed, it'll be good. Yeah. This hatchery of Life in big trouble here. Hyun can get it on yeah. the way out. He has an escape path. So. They shouldn't. Uh, they should be okay on three bases apiece here. I don't think anyone's going to kill each other anytime soon. No. But this does allow life to get to bailing speed and start to think about massing up the zerglings, which he's going to do now. Yeah. Um, roach versus roach. 
and, and it can be Roach Hydra too, but Roach versus Roach, if you can get cost-efficient amount of Bailings that come crashing in, they do a lot more damage than they're worth. And yeah. if you can burst down a lot of his Roaches and weaken them, and then take a good Roach fight with it, it's a very powerful combination which Life is trying to pull off. Well, Hyun has been clumping his roaches a lot, and if he, it's it's what he wants. He wants to connect with the with the clump here. Yeah. And I don't think Hyun's aware of the Bailings, and obviously no. with the Hydralisks, Hydralisks suck against Bailings. That's he, what. He, yeah, he's, with Bailing speed, Life's going to be very happy. And now that he's we got can even tech. see. Look at this. He's maxed out on roaches, and then did the spore trawler trick. Uh, the the, 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 the spore trawler trick uh, yep. to build the 28 Zerklings that we see in production, and those are going to be Bailings. And so he's going to look for this fight. Unfortunately for Hyun, who doesn't know this is happening is walking into the trap because you don't want really Hydralis at this point. The, the ideal tech choice would be the Infestors to lock down the units to prevent the Bailings from getting their splash damage down. I actually think Hyun had a Changeling in their Apollo and he saw the Bailings being morphed. Oh, this is very good for him because he's, no, he's throwing the Infestation Pit down. Yes, he but is. But can he get up there fast enough? Hyun is being out, uh, out positioned here by life at the moment. He doesn't really have a very good spot, but the Bailings are oh coming in and connecting with a lot of the Roaches. So much damage. Oh my god, the Roaches are taking giant splash damage with these oh. Bailings. Oh jeez. He's pushing him all the way back here. Hyun's taking so many roach damages. He's remaxing back at home, so the oh, supply is still 200. But now look at the roach count for life. He's had to remake 17 roaches, and life is maxed on roaches here. Yeah, that was a beautiful fight. And just we saw the power of the Bailings as they went rolling in. The Bailings helping out a lot, and there's not enough Hydras here to make a difference. Life actually might end the game here. He's got too many roaches pushing through. Hyun is coming back with the reinforcement, but this is just too many, I feel. It's actually starting to even up a bit. 36 roaches versus the 31. 30 more roaches on the way from Life. And Hyun getting that surround with the Hydras helping out quite a bit. The reinforcements were very slow to the fight there, which means it was a much cost-efficient fight for Hyun. If you look at the bank, Hyun has expired all of his money, but because Life was more efficient with the bailing hits and that fight right there, he He's still got money in the bank while being maxed out. Hyun is struggling to reclimb to where he was because of those two bad fights. And that is the difference between the two of them, even though Hyun was able to push life back. Oh, my God. This CVC getting us out of breath, man. This is action packed. Yeah, he's Don't trying to go for Hydralisks, which are good. Obviously good, they, they deal so much damage, yeah, but he damage. won't have the numbers. It's 150 supply to 200. Life's last two fights were way too good for him. Absolutely, those Banelings really clinched him for here. There's one Swarm host at the back, but how much can those Locusts do as life powers through once more? The Hydra's finding a nice position here, just spreading out just in case of Banelings, which are coming through, but they're connecting against Roaches here. They didn't find the Hydra's. The Hydra's helping out for Hyun, but there's just so much from life, it seems. He has the Overseer of the Swarm host as well, and life is going to push through and get himself a 2-1 lead here. He's got the Roach Warren. It's going to go down. Hyun is a down 100 supply. This is the World Champions game right here. He's going to take a 2-1 lead any second here. Hyun just pushing. He's trying to do what he can, but GG, too much here. Life takes it 2-1 so far. Very, oh, very boy. impressive here from Life in uh, game number three. Everything he did right. <laughs> he did everything right there. And he's now one game away from moving on to the semi-finals where he would face off against Parting in a semi-final. I think a lot of people would like to see but Hyun going toe to toe there, but in the last couple of engagements was a couple of steps behind life. Didn't realize the Banelings were being played until way too late there. Couldn't capitalize on his 2 2 timing. Life well positioned, well defensed to get his own upgrades to equalize the fight. Unfortunately, there, especially in that type of game, that type of game can be, as a professional player for Hyun, can be a little bit frustrating because it wasn't a game that life won because he had a better strategy or a better build or something very simple that you can look at and go, oh, okay, I just really need to twist this little strategy here, twist this little thing at the front to be able to <laughs> change my game up so I can move on to the next part easily. But it was just a complete 25 minute game there where life outplayed him. Uh, yeah, he seemed to have an answer at every single turn there. I mean, uh, Hyun kept trying to get damage done. I mean, Hyun was barely on life's half of the map. He came and he tried to hit that third, and Life was already always in position with his roaches. He read Hyun like a book. Yeah. Like, well, I mean, a lot of that had to do with Hyun's Overlord spread. The Mutalist denied all of that. Life had map control. He had the yeah. vision. He had the. He had uh, the only disadvantage he had was the upgrades for quite a while, but. Uh, Hyun couldn't capitalize on that. Mm. He had a three upgrade lead. He was plus, he had plus two carapace 
and plus to attack against just plus one attack from life. And he still just couldn't push through that defender's advantage. So important, Zergus has said, when your rally distance is that much closer. Beautiful mouse, by the way. When your rally distance is that much closer to uh, to be able to defend, you reinforce so much easier. And uh, and uh, yeah, well, that's the ma that made the difference here for the player on the right. And the player on the left here needs to win two maps in a row. If he wants to get into the round of four and life, just needs to win one. Let's introduce here on the new map, Expedition Lost. In the bottom left from Team Rocket, this is Yon. The last time he was in a round of eight was the Intel Extreme Masters New York 2013. The spider Hyun moments, remember those when he dressed oh, up as Spider-Man? Yeah. That was the last time he reached the top eight at the Intel Extreme Masters a very long time ago. Quite a while between drinks, but this player, not far off from his last win. This is Star Tales Life. And that tournament, that very tournament where Hyun was spider Hyun, where he got that top eight, life won. Yes, he did. Against Naniwa in the finals, four games to two. Won his first Intel Extreme Masters Championship there, and he is looking for a second at this tournament. Absolutely right, and uh, my God, I mean, that was a that was a queen. <laughs> the last time these guys played was a queen sleep. It was 4-0 life, yeah. and that's a rough way to go out in a, in a game with that, in a best of seven like that. You don't want to lose 4-0. That's just not a good feeling. Hyun already, even though he's only won one game so far in the series, looks better than I've ever seen him look against a player of this caliber. I mean, sure, he's lost the last two, mm. but you've got to give it to him. This mm. is this is not just a Zerg that you can just, you, you know, that you would expect Hyun to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with any yeah. day of the week. This is life we're talking about. Hyun, yeah. going to, uh, I just, I keep saying it, but it just means a lot to me. Like, a, the, the, as, a, as a fan of StarCraft and a fan of Zerg, Hyun is uh, really impressing me today. And he needs to impress, and he needs to get results in, in this tournament. Um, he's not qualified for the World Championship. No. Um, you know, dream hacks are a long way from happening now. He needs the points. He needs the WCS points um, to be able to compete and try to, you know, achieve a BlizzCon again, the top 16 in the WCS rankings. But looking at these builds, we saw 15 spawn and pull coming out from Hyun, followed by a fast gas again, the same build he used on Overgrowth, into the hatchery here. So we could see him try on this map because it is relatively small. The distance isn't that big. Uh, yeah. between the both of them, and Zergling's obviously very fast with Zergling speed, can rush over there. He may try the same strategy again against Life, who so far has opened up 15 spawn and pull into the hatchery, and is without gas yeah, for the time being. completely gasless, so it does look like he wants to try and get up to that fast third hatchery here, which is very, very greedy, and, and I, I mean, I've talked about it with the new maps. Taking a third hatchery and holding a third yeah. hatchery on this map is quite difficult. Life is trying to poke in here. He's got to be careful. He wants to get some more information, but he does back off Doesn't with his Overlord. Uh, there is a Queen on the way for Hyun, so the Overlord backs off. But these two Zerglings are going to be the units that could potentially scout out Hyun. And remember, on that map Overgrowth, it was scouting from Life that tipped him off, which allowed him to pull off the defense. Says the will never be caught. Never be caught. Trust me, I've never. tried. That's right. Pause. So. Hyun is, and must, not allow these links inside. If they see the Zirkling speed already researching, game over. Well, not game over, but the plan is over. It's spoiled. Yeah. So the links coming and touching up this hatchery here. They want that opening, obviously. The Queen coming down to help out, and life is gonna... Ooh, no, he's not getting in. Name. He's not getting in. And already is very suspicious that something like this could be happening. But so far, no defensive tool set up from life. He only has queens. The, the links are starting. This is a serious attack from Khan. His tournament life depends on it. If this doesn't work, he will be eliminated in the round of eight. And unfortunately, we'll have to go home like we saw Classic go just a little bit before. 18 links are on the way. A spine core has been built, but there is no wall. He can wall the ramp in between the main and natural, sure. Yeah, he can. And here we go. For yeah, the first time, life sees the Zerglings. He needs to start to think about how he's going to defend this. He's making as much as he can, and he's using every big, every bit of his lava to get some Zerglings here. He's making a spine crawler. He has three queens, which is going to be very helpful. But no he... energy for transfuses, no. Nope. So they will go down pretty fast. They will, and they're blocking the ramp. All three of them here. The drone's being pulled. They're going to try and soak up some of the links. The spine crawler evaporates without even hitting once. And the links here. 18 links on the way for life. Oh, boy. Life's got a lot of links on the way. Hyun getting into the main with a lot of these speed links here. He's running circles around these slow links, and he's going to look for a lot of drone kills here. And Hyun already realizing this isn't going to work. He's 10 drones behind, by the way. He is droning up behind this, but he needs to deal some form of damage. He hasn't killed any queens or anything. He hasn't done anything. He's only been engaging with Zerglings here, and the queens are tapping him apart, taking damage here. Life is supply block, but not a big deal at this yeah. stage. He, he's Notice how he's pinpointing drones now. 
He's building a lot of drones behind this, but he's pinpointing drones to be able to overtake and catch up himself. And every time he walks past these four queens, he takes a lot of damage on the Zerglings. He gets two here so far. Looking for that third, not quite yet. Life moving across the map. Hyun, no Baneling that's to speak of. Not no. a whole lot of defense at all. Uh, no, and there's actually a lot of Zerglings on his way. <laughs> uh, 17 Zerglings and no defense. Did he even see them? I, has he even seen them? I don't even think he has. He's Overlord's on a position. Apollo Healing just sees them now. The Zerglings of Life are coming up into his ramp, and he only has two Queens. He, didn't he doesn't see have any them. units. He he's, didn't see them. He's only just started making links now. Eight links on the way, and it's too late. Life is going to kill two Queens and a lot of drones here. I can't believe he didn't see them. There is Overlords through the middle of the map. He was so concentrated and focused on pinpointing where the drones are and picking them off that he simply didn't see this coming over. Oh, my God. And what a way to... What a way to get into this game number oh, three man. with Life killing 10 more drones. And he was already 10 drones behind this attack even started. Life taking an unprecedented lead in this game. Hyun was was doing everything perfectly until he didn't see that coming. He it was equal, he did equalize eventually the drone lead, and then they just got wiped out straight away. 10 drones lost, uh, Life closed that, and all of a sudden, it is now 41 drones to 36 for Hyun. He has managed to keep up. He managed to keep that third down, but I can't believe he just let that attack happen so easily. Yeah, well, Life took the part. He didn't go straight through the guts. He didn't go past the Overlord, so he, yeah. he circled around there. Smart oh, decision. Oh, Life is going again. Oh, I think boy. he's going to attack again. And with Banelings this time as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, 22 so, Zerglings. So he is showing at the front door here. Whether Hyun has seen it or not, I don't think Hyun has seen it. He's showing here that there is a lot that yeah. shows a long game here, but he just if he just goes across the oh. map with all these Zerglings that he's built... And he's looking like he's taking a third as well. He sent a drone up there to look like he's oh, taking a third. He's, he's pulling a fast one, Apollo, this cheeky bugger. This cheeky guy. I can't believe... Right now, Hyun has one Zergling with eight on the way, and now oh, he's like, boy. no! Oh, no! no! Oh, no! <laughs> and they're going to be Banelings as well. He's been tricked. He's dropping Panic Spine. His structures aren't even a wall here that Legend's highlighting. He can't make a wall to save his natural. And here comes the Zerglings. There's a Banelings that's complete as well. Life has tricked Hyun. And, oh, boy, is this going to be difficult to stop. Oh, yeah. He, I mean, Hyun's getting Banelings of his own. He's got two on the way, but is it going to be too late? And the Queens go down again. The drones are all in big trouble. Five down. And the Banelings from Life are going to join the fight here. Two of these Banelings of Hyun need to get the connections of their life. Oh, they're not One. trading well at all. And Life has just got way too much here. He's going to go to the round of four here, Apollo. And he will move on to the semifinals where Parting will be waiting to play tomorrow. GG, the world champion, as everyone expected. Cuts through Hyun, slices him straight through the middle here. And he's going to go to the semifinals for tomorrow's games. And going to be pushing for that Intel Extreme Masters trophy for Taipei. Life walking over to his opponent here, just saying, good game. Life is our next semi-finalist, our second. An excellent performance from Life. Unfortunately, Hyun now finishes top eight here. This is uh, second top eight. It's been a long time since the last one, but hopefully we'll see more of him this year, but he's now eliminated from the Intellectual Masters. And hats off to this guy, by the way, on camera right now for putting up such a great fight against a player that I would say 99% of the community would have assumed to get crushed by Life here. So. He put up a fight. He put up a fight, but there was a couple of mistakes that he made in that last game especially, which which cost him the game, uh, which really cost him the game. Unfortunately for him there, but it's a massive, massive thing here for life going through. Life versus Parting. What else can you say? That is going to be smug such a game smug. tomorrow. Yeah. Who will be the most smug after that one? Who's going to be throwing up the gang signs after that best, after that best of five? But anyway, that's our first CVZ done, and we're going to cross over to Paul at the desk. Thank you very much, Lee. Yes, uh, thank you to uh, both of our commentators there, uh, bringing us the action from our second game of the day, Maynard and Apollo. Uh, back on the desk right now with Todd and Kolaris as uh, Susie's gone off to find the uh, the victor. What do, you, what do you make of that then? I think you actually said 3-1, didn't you? you I didn't say, said I don't think I've said a particular score, but it would have gone said three, around that perfectly way. Predicted. We, we said, you have just gone with it. <laughs> could have done, couldn't he? Yes, I did. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but 3-1. Was that a fair reflection of the game in the way that the both players played, or do you feel that maybe maybe life made a 
bit too many mistakes. Uh, no, I think that's a fair reflection. Um, the game number one that did end up going Hyun's way, in my opinion, when something like that happens, well, I think a lot of people's opinion, when something like that happens and you fail something as aggressive as that, uh, then you're going to have a really, really hard time getting back to things. Once Hyun started up his 1-1 one, one upgrades, all you have to do is push out the creep as aggressively as he did, yep. get over there and do big, big killing damage. So yeah. he capitalized on life's mistake there. If life hadn't chose to do something as aggressive in game number one, I think he probably could have been a 3-0 either. Okay. And, and then in map two, um, Toddy showed us what he's capable of. Some really high-level play. Yeah, some very good crisis management, actually. Much better than Hyun's, definitely. I mean, this is what we expected. And, you know, a lot of good reactions. Beat with both, I guess, counter-attacking and defending at yep. the same time. Just much better than Hyun. Yeah, uh, and map three. Well, we, we've had quite a discussion about map three because it was... Uh, uh, I'm still not entirely sure whether he was just reacting to the way that Hyun played or whether he actually had that kind of build in mind and it was just the way that it went. But whatever Hyun did, it seemed life had the perfect counter for it. He, I'll build mass roaches. All right, well, I'll go mass roaches then. And uh, well, I'll throw some banes in there and then you'll get you'll get screwed over by that. Everything, he was almost one step ahead of him. Um, you made the comment actually in map two while we were watching that Hyun seemed to be using historic meta. For one of the I mean, phrase. that's what he's been doing for a long time. Uh, say even even things as like a uh, game two, like pushing with one one roaches. It's it's very it's very old. It's it's a, it's something that stood the test of time in Zerg versus Zerg. Um, there is an age joke coming in. I can feel it. <laughs> I'm trying to refrain <laughs> I, as much I, as possible. I, I was waiting for it. <laughs> I'm I, was, I was waiting for it. I'll I'll, I'll uh, let that one slide. But right. uh, <laughs> pretty kind of you. I know. I normally do, but it's okay. Um, <laughs> But I, I think overall, uh, if you go to game three, as you were speaking about, for example, I, I, it was it, for me, it feels as if the majority of the game was life dictating the game. Mm. When you open up a, a mutalist build like that in Zerg versus Zerg, and you seize control of the middle of the map, you push all the overlords away, you have more options available to you than your opposing player does, because yeah. uh, Hyun is basically playing a lot in the dark uh, and doesn't really know too much about what's happening in the middle of the map. So him pushing out into the middle with the roaches, despite having, you know, potentially really good windows, he's a little bit apprehensive because he doesn't know what's going on everywhere yeah, else. Sure. Okay, uh, well, let's find out from our Victor how he feels about a 3-1 victory because he's with Susie on the stage right now. Okay. Okay, here I am with our world champion. This is Life. Life, congratulations. How do you feel right now? Well, he said uh, built the first game he had prepared a build, but uh, it was really well defended, and so he was a little upset about that, but he was expecting to win this, so he's feeling pretty good. Now, um, you know what, then, he already talked about game one. We're going to go straight into game three. Now, game three was a little more interesting, and uh, just given the back and forth of you and Hyun, were you building things in, um, like, were you kind of... Did you plan your build, or were you just doing it because he was doing it and trying to do it better? Yeah. Uh, I didn't he said, actually, he doesn't really plan builds for Zerg because, you know, it's Zerg. And so, yeah, he just kind of went with the flow and decided to play the game, and that's how it played out. All right. Now, speaking of Hyun, uh, some of the casters on the desk were saying how he seems to be playing in a more previous meta. Like, he hasn't really caught up to where you are. Do you feel that same way? Yeah. Mm. Uh, Okay, he says, you know, uh, when it's a ZVZ, oh, there's so many different builds anyway. And so uh, whether it's a build he used last year or not, uh, they're all really strong. And so he didn't think that it really mattered all that much. All right, next up, you're playing Parting. And now Parting said, you or Hyun, easy peasy, you're all noobs. How do you feel about this? 
어, 파팅 형이 약간 운 좋게 올라와서 약간 신난 것 같은데 제가 아무 말도 못 하게 그냥 찡소리 못 하게 이기겠습니다. <laughs> he said, I think Parting um, got really lucky and won his matchup, and he's kind of on a high right now. So I want to kill that high, and I'm going to make sure I win and be able to get him down. Well, 영어로 한 마디 하고 싶은 건 없어? Parting very easy. Parting's very easy. So there we go. We've got the world champion. You know, talking chat, and we got parting ready for this game. So I'm excited to see what the next one's going to hold. Back to you, Paul. Yes, thank you very much, uh, Susie. There, <laughs> life uh, giving us a bit of smack talk as well. We always like that a bit as well. Uh, interesting that those two match up now uh, in the semi-finals because we've got one man who won the battle net world championship as it was the WCS in 2012, mm -hmm. and another man who won the WCS at BlizzCon in 2014. They're going to go head to head in the semi-finals. It's a, uh, uh, we, I think. I don't know how they say it in France. Maybe you can give us a better translation than his French from yesterday. Probably. Uh, but a, but a, a lip-smackingly good semi-final. Demi-final delicious. A delicious <laughs> one. I don't know. That's, that's all I could think of. On this one. And by the way, who could have guessed this will be our semi-final? Well, I, I think wonder. you might have. That's I think right. you may have guessed. Yeah. You did. Yeah, you'd predict. I, I still say that this upper part of the bracket was the easier one to predict, and we all said parting. Even I said parting life. Yeah, good job, Todd. Well done. <laughs> really, really good stuff there. <laughs> the, the key is how can you figure out what goes on next, because the next two games are going to be even tougher. But hold that thought, because we won't go there just yet. Uh, thank you very much, gents. We're going to take a very quick break. And uh, we will be back with our third quarterfinal of the day very shortly. It's a fantastic day here at the Intel Extreme Masters in Taipei, and it's only going to get better from here on in. The next game is our current reigning champion at the Intel Extreme Masters, the most successful man at the Intel Extreme Masters, with three previous titles, all of them premier titles of his own, the only three he's ever won. CJ Enters Hero goes up against a virgin in Intel Extreme Masters terms, a man who has never appeared here before, but is here for one thing only, and that's the title. It's Murray. We'll see you after the break.